Recording has started. Good morning, everybody. It's that time. So today, um, we're going to switch gears just a little bit for today. We're going to talk about the resistor color code. <coughs> really, there's only a couple programs that, that this is relevant for anymore. Um, but I cover it because it's good to understand how color codes work and how to follow a color code. <clears throat> so the resistor color code is actually found in your textbook on page 200 if you wish to follow along. <clears throat> and what the color code does is it uses two things. It uses different bands of colors to represent numbers, but then the position of the band within a series of, of three or four total bands also is significant. <coughs> so our colors I'll list them out in order. We have black, brown, and red. Um, black typically stands for zero. Brown is one and red is two. As we keep going, we have orange. Yellow. And blue. Oops, sorry, not for blue, we should have the green in there. So that would be three, four, and five. Then we have blue, <clears throat> violet, and gray. Which is six, seven, and eight. Then we'll have the gray is so these are nine gold and silver and none now gold and silver do not have numbers as far as um, flat out what they stand for individually they're they do two things, they're multipliers and they're tolerance bands. So the normal, just the flat out numbers are that zero through nine. For multipliers, gold times a point one and silver, point zero one. The other bands, are 10 to the power of whatever number that band already represents. <laughs> and then for tolerance, gold is plus or minus 5%, silver is plus or minus 10%. If there's no tolerance band, it's plus or minus 20%. <clears throat> Sometimes black. It's plus or minus or plus or minus twenty percent. Brown and red. Brown is plus or minus one percent. Red is plus or minus two percent for tolerance. Brown and red tolerance bands do not get used a lot. Um, those are your military grade tolerances for resistors and electronics. <clears throat> so the way this works is every resistor has at least three typically four bands. <coughs> so on the resistor, the first two bands are simply just numbers. So let's say our first band here is red and our second band is green. Both bands stand for the numbers 
that go with those those colors. So red is two, green is five. So that stands for two five. The third band, um, let's say the third band here is yellow. That is a multiplier band. Yellow stands for the number four. So this band is times 10 to the power of four. <coughs> now notice that's not proper scientific notation, not even proper engineering notation. Basically that 10 to the power of four is just saying, we're adding four zeros onto the end of that 25. <coughs> And then if there is a fourth band, it's usually a little bit space. There's a little bit extra space to the fourth band. That is a tolerance band. Silver is plus or minus 10%. So that resistor, if you follow the color code, is saying 250,000 ohms plus or minus 10%. So we might have blue, orange, red, and black. So blue simply stands for the number six. Orange stands for the number two, or sorry, number three. Red stands for the number two, but remember that's the third band. So that's actually times 10 to the power of two. So that is 6,300 ohms. That 10 to the power of 2 just puts two zeros at the end of it. And black is plus or minus 20%. So that color code on that resistor is giving us 6,300 plus or minus 20%. Now, just as we mentioned last week, when we looked at tolerances and allowances, this is implying a range. The difference is, is it's a relative allowance rather than an absolute allowance. So we have to figure out what the 20% stands for before we can find the range. The 20% is 20 out of 100. We want to know how much that is out of the 6,300 ohms on our color code. So we're going to do cross multiplying 20 times 6,300 divided by 100. It's going to give us 1,260. So what this is really saying is that this is 6,300 ohms. Plus or minus 1,260 ohms. Now that plus or minus 1,260 sounds like a lot. It is. 20% um, is a pretty loose uh, allowance, pretty loose tolerance. <coughs> In electronics, because the way resistors are used, um, they don't have to be real precise. Um, being within 20% of what they're rated in, in most cases uh, is still adequate, still allows us to use them in a way that allows us to regulate what we need to precisely enough. So we still need to finish making the range here now that we got the absolute allowance here. So that's going to give us a range of 6,300 ohms 
minus the 1,260 ohms. Subtracting that gives us, what, 5,040 ohms. Two, the 6,300 ohms of the rating, plus the 1,260 allowance. Giving us 7,560 ohms. So that resistor um, could be anywhere from 5,040 ohms to 7,560 ohms and still be within its rated color code. So in your notes, I want you to find what the rating is, just the, the ohms and the plus or minus the percentage for this. If I have violet, green, orange, and gold. Decode that, that color code quick. So violet is seven, green is five, so that's 75. Orange is three, but remember that's times 10 to the third is what that stands for. <coughs> so those first three bands decode to be 75,000 ohms. Gold, is plus or minus 5%. So, the next step would be to find that range again. So, we'd have to find the 5% of the 75,000 ohms. which gives us 3,750. So this 75,000 ohms plus or minus 5%, 75,000 ohms plus or minus 3,750 ohms. So again, to find the range that that's implying, we would do the 75,000 minus 3,750, which would be 7,000 or 71,250. to the 75,000 plus 3,750, which is 78,750 ohms. <clears throat> so there's the range, it's implied. Now, that was only plus or minus 5%, so that's one of the more precise, uh, lower tolerance resistors we have, but that's still a pretty wide range of, of over 7,000 ohms. <coughs> so for this next one, I want you to not only decode it, but try to find the range. Okay, so we have White, yellow, green, and silver. 
So I'll give you a couple minutes to decode it and then to calculate the range. So we have white, which stands for nine. Yellow, which is four. Now green is five, but it's in that third band. That's technically times 10 to the fifth. So this is nine million four hundred thousand ohms silver is plus or minus 10 percent so we find 10 percent of that nine million four hundred thousand and we cross multiply to divide and to get nine hundred and forty thousand So that's 9,400,000 ohms plus or minus 940,000 ohms. <coughs> so we subtract 9,400,000 minus 940,000. giving us 8,460,000 ohms to the 9,400,000 plus 940,000, giving us 10,340,000 ohms. So there's our range, 8.46 million to 10.34 million. Well, let's look at going the other direction. Start off with... Sixty-three thousand ohms, plus or minus ten percent. <coughs> to code this, first we're only going to code the first two digits first. Six, of course, is blue. Three is orange so that's the six and the three have been coded now it's followed by three zeros so that's technically times ten to the third so that is going to be another orange so the three zeros and then ten percent plus or minus ten percent that's a silver tolerance band. Um, we might have seven hundred and twenty ohms. I'm sorry, one second. Um yes, sir. oh wait, never mind. Never mind. I just read it again. It says in our book the gold on silver band is 0 0.1 multiply and so the those silver are multipliers, yes. Yeah, and 0 0.01. So 
I just had it mixed up for a second. I looked at the then I looked at the box underneath says ten percent. Sorry. No, it's it's a good question though that the point one and point zero one that would be if the gold or silver band were in the third band rather than the fourth. <coughs> okay, thank you. Too bad. Those are for actually very small resistances. So for this one, 720,000 ohms, plus or minus 20%. Well, again, we code the first two digits, the 7 and the 2. Well, 7 is violet. And 2 is red. It is followed by one, two, three, four zeros. Four is yellow. So that's the 720,000 there. The 20% then, either I can leave this blank and not put a tolerance band in here, or I could use a black tolerance band. Either would indicate plus or minus 20%. So if you see a resistor with only three bands on it, that means that the tolerance band is none or 20%, plus or minus 20%. So next we're gonna look at what if we're not given the percent, what if we're given the allowance So what if we have a resistor that's 6,400 ohms <coughs> plus or minus 320 ohms. So before we can color code this, we have to figure out what percent that is. So it's blank over 100 equals that allowance, the 320, over our main number of resistance, the 6,400. We cross multiply and divide here, we get 5. So what that's telling us is that is plus or minus 5%. <coughs> so if we want to code this, we have six, which is blue, four, which is yellow, two zeros, or times 10 to the second, which is red, and then the 5% tolerance band, which is gonna be a gold tolerance band. We might have 860,000 ohms plus or minus 172,000 ohms. <coughs> so again, we need to figure out what percent this is. So blank over 100. We put the allowance, the 172,000 over our rating, our main rating of 860,000. And again, we cross, multiply, and divide. So 100 times 1,000 divided by 860,000 gives us 20. That's a plus or minus 20%. So to color code this, we have eight, which is gray, six, which is blue, we have one, two, three, four zeros, so times 10 to the fourth, and four would be yellow. <coughs> and 
and then 20 percent, which would either be no tolerance band or a black tolerance band We may have one like this, 2.3 ohms plus or minus 0.23 ohms. So again, we're going to find out what percent that is. So it's an allowance of 0.23 over a rating of 2.3. Cross, multiply, and divide there to get 10. So this is plus or minus 10%. Now to do the 2.3, <laughs> We're going to do the two first, which is red. And the three is orange. But this is really, to do the two, three, it's times 0.1 to get it to 2.3. So this is where we look at that gold is the third band rather than a tolerance band. It's a multiplier of 0.1. So that would be a gold third band is a multiplier band. And then, of course, for the 10%, that's a silver tolerance band. What if we have this? 450,000 ohms. Well, I got those backwards. It should be 360,000 ohms to 540,000 ohms. Is the allowable range on our resistor. <coughs> to color code that, first thing we would have to find is the desired value. To find the desired value, it's at the center of that range. All we're going to do is we're going to add those together. Divide by two. We're averaging those two together, the low end and the high end. And if we add those together, we get 900,000 divided by two. We got 450,000 ohms is our desired value. Next, we need to find the allowance. The allowance can be found here by subtracting either of these, the high end or the low end, from this newly found desired value. So I take my 450,000 ohms. I'm going to subtract the low end since that makes more sense. Of 360,000 ohms. Get a difference of 90,000 ohms. <coughs> That's an allowance, so it's plus or minus 90,000 ohms. Now we need to change that into a percent. <coughs> Blank out of 100 equals 90,000 ohms out of 450,000 is our desired value. So we're going to cross, multiply, and divide. So 100 times 90,000 divided by 450,000 gives us 20. So that's 20%. So this rating, our desired value is still the 450,000 ohms plus or minus 20%. So we can color code this. The four is yellow. <laughs> 
five is going to be green. One, two, three, four zeros. So that'll be yellow again, times 10 to the fourth. And the 20%, again, is either going to be no tolerance band or a black tolerance band. <coughs> Any questions there? This is one of those things that I think really about the only way to get good at it is to practice it on your own. Um, rather than making you do a bunch more examples in class, we'll just turn you loose on the homework. So in your book, on page 203, it's exercise 4.8. We'll have you do 1 through 29, the odds there. Decode those resistor color codes. Now, for the rest of the week here, just so you know, tomorrow we'll have class as normal. Um, Thursday morning, I'm going to be gone for an appointment again. <clears throat> so that's Thursday, what is that, November 12th? There won't be class this week. So after, to, I'll see you tomorrow, and then that'll be the end of our week for math class. Okay, so with that, we got about 18 minutes left here. I'll let you have the 18 minutes to work on your homework. I'll be on the network.